Hello everyone, this is Ms. Lina Oda and this is a grade 11 English. Today I'm going to be introducing the unit number one for grade 11 English. Uh, it is writing freedoms. Of course, writing freedom, of course, we talk about only the American literature, so let's just start. A primary intellectual question that is to be covered in this unit, what can you comprehend from the unit titled writing freedom? There are questions. Uh, also to be discussed uh, either in any in any form it might be in literature or in any other thing uh, the sub questions are what does the concept of freedom mean in different con con uh, contexts and for different individuals how has the understanding freedom evolved throughout the history and literature how do authors use literary devices to convey the theme of freedom in their works in what ways can freedom be both liberating and restrictive how do characters experiences with the freedom shape their identities and decisions in a story? What are the societal, cultural, and historical factors that influence characters' pursuit of freedom? How is the theme of freedom explored across different genres, such as novels, short stories, poetry, and plays? Can true freedom exist without limitations? What are the trade-offs between freedom and responsibility? How does the theme of freedom intersect with other themes such as societal justice, oppression, and individuality? As for other questions, how does literature reflect the tension between personal freedom and societal norms? What role does symbolism play in conveying the idea of freedom in, in literary works? How do characters' perceptions of freedom change over the course of a story or poem? How does the author's background and experiences influence their portrayal of freedom in their writing? What lessons or insights about human nature and society can be gained from exploration of the theme and, uh, of a freedom in literature? How can the theme of freedom resonate with readers in the modern world? Are there parallels to the contemporary issues? Uh, the unit description after the primary question, what does it mean to be free? What does freedom mean to you? Throughout this unit, you will deepen your understanding and perspectives of the American freedoms and freedoms in general. Whether it's an official document or an autobiography, you'll be able to understand the commotion an individual takes to gain, establish, and preserve freedoms. Uh, what, what answer can we come up with when we think of freedom? This unit will cover the following answers. A freedom generally refers to the state of being free or unrestricted, the absence of uh, captivity or oppression. It encompasses the ability to make choices and decisions independently without undue external influence or control. However, the concept of freedom itself can vary in, in interpretation based on the context, culture, and individual perspectives. It can relate to political as a document, personal as equiano, social as uh, the gallery, and even philosophical domains that we will not cover uh, this unit. Uh, some integrated subjects for this unit is, first of all, US history, second of all, psychology. The history of freedom in the U.S. is extremely important for a unit because freedom has been a central and evolving theme throughout the U.S. history. It shaped the nation's development, identity, and values through the colonial era, declaration of independence, up to nowadays, the concept of a freedom encompassed various struggles, triumphs, and ongoing debates. As for psychology, it's highly integrated in this unit because the theme of freedom can provide a comprehensive exploration of characters' motivations, choices, and psychological struggles within literary works. Here is how you can achieve this integration by character analysis, the Freudian analysis, and Maslow's hierarchy. As for character analysis, which is extremely important for English language and literature, you will analyze the characters' motivations, desires, and conflicts through a psychological lens. You will explore how their personal experiences and internal struggles shape their pursuit of freedom. Then the Freudian analysis, this applies to the Freudian concepts of id, ego, and superego that go hand in hand, of course, with being free. Uh, it, how it impacted the character's decision making or the writer's decision making. It will examine how their unconscious desires and conflicts influence their choices related to freedom. As for Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you will consider how the character's quest for different levels of needs in Maslow's hierarchy influence the pursuit of person, personal and societal freedom. Uh, we have a small project 
in this unit it's uh, mainly also about freedom in this unit project you will utilize and create a captivating image gallery that tells a story about current cause or an issue that involves the fight for freedom it might be either global or local the project combines the power of visuals with the art of concise and effective writing you will you are required to do the following first of all you will select a theme one example of palestinian conflict if it's local if you want to go broader globally you can choose ukraine versus russia you will gather a series of relevant and thought-provoking images and assemble them on a cardboard collage or what seems suitable you will pair them with well-crafted slogans that capture the essence of each image through this project students will not only develop their creativity and narrative skills but also learn to communicate meaningfully through both visuals and words uh, enhancing the overall project the material to be covered in this unit is literature grammar writing reading speaking and listening as for literature you have an article are we totally free a document an official document which is a declaration of independence the declaration of independence sorry as for image gallery it's the american revolution as for all biography it's equiano as for grammar subject verb agreement and subject complements as for writing you're going to have argumentative essays as for reading you're going to read comprehension texts on scene uh, as for speaking mainly public speaking and every other uh, sect of speaking as for listening you're going to be listening to audios quizzes videos and me of course and thank you so much for listening i hope you understood